Oh, definitely peak trick shotting for some W2. I have barely played any Call of Duty in my life. I'm interested to see how Gears Fox does here because, well. Especially since this is the first game of Fox. I don't know if it's today yeah. or just of the tournament, but yeah, it's uh. It's gotta start off strong, because... and a tipper does not help. <laughs> Because I have played EQ with Fox, and I have seen him play Foxes lots of times, and it doesn't go well anymore. <laughs> I remember when EQ was just coming into the scene, couldn't even beat me. Oh man, dude, EQ was in the beginning of the scene? Last... That's how I thought he was going to be for so long. I was like, dude, buddy, you can't just keep cheesing, you're not going to get anywhere. But now fucking look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It was like, this guy, this guy's not as good as, as oh! he thinks. And then it's like, oh wait, actually this guy's way better than all of us. This sucks. But it actually doesn't because... It phantomed! He I knew it was going to phantom. EQ at like old tournaments, I'd be like, man, this guy just plays and then leaves. He, he, he does not, he, he's a... Who is this guy? And then I was like, oh, he's a high school student. He has to get back home because he has school at six in the morning. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, this kid's, this kid's kind of sick. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's kind of whooping everyone all the time. He's on the grind, man. Fuck. He plays all the time. He's adding net player every day. Like, this guy this guy is going hard. I think my, my, the last tournament I ever won was a USF tournament over EQ and Grand Finals, so I'll hold that for the rest of my life. <laughs> which which uh, tournament was it? It was like some random USF, and it was um, he. What happened? I think I beat Ryan. I beat Schmang in nice winner semis somehow, and I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And then EQ beat Spinax. So it was me versus EQ winners finals, and then it was super close, and I like barely pulled it out, and then it was uh, I think, and then EQ, EQ beat Schmang. Yeah, I think he beat Schmang in losers finals, and I ended up kind of whooping him in grands. I'll be honest. <laughs> Let's go, Bill. I remember. Fucking I remember three owing. I remember three owing, and I was like, like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's sick. And then, uh, and then I think I didn't play him for a long time, and I. And I came back to Florida after summer break, and I came back and I was like, I ran into him in a USF bracket. I was like, oh, I already know this isn't going to go good. <laughs> and then I don't think I've beaten him since. Yeah. Yeah, I remember so, uh, 3 0 Yuku at a, at a USF one time, and I took a Dibble to like last game, last talk, I think. Didn't quite get him. I don't think I've ever taken a set off at of Dibble yet. But, um, yeah, I did good that tourney, but then ever since then, I don't think I've ever done as well against DQ since. Our region is just like, we're all a very, we have a lot of consistent, like, players at the same level. So yeah, it's like, a lot of mid level players. Yeah. Or, like, so mid level uh, players, like, right on the, the brink of, like, top players in Winkle. Yeah. So it, it's a it's fun competition, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's getting harder and harder for me to keep up with all these kids though. They <laughs> like, play so much more. On the PR, like spots 7 through like 15 to 20 like can all be interchanged. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, they depending all on be, how everyone's like, playing. They can all beat each other. Right. Like depending on who shows up, who you play, what matchup, blah blah blah, like all that. Like you got Spinex, Ice Fire, Fam, you, me, like so many just like super close level players yeah uh yeah helix let's have you guys wait yeah we'll do um the rest of the sets on stream i thought you guys would have already started by now but yeah if you guys are down to wait yeah our scene has always been like not too big but everyone who does play is like pretty decent so and nice know. I feel like we have a pretty good culture of getting each, uh, like it, helping each other improve too. Mm -hmm. So, pretty good. Like Ooh, how nice. fast some of the some of these kids are improving fast. Dude. Ooh, like Luna's, I could I could not have beaten, like I could not have beaten me a year and a half into playing the game. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, how no way, she dude. Does it. Dude, year and a half of the game, I was going O2 all day every day. Yeah, exactly. I still was like, I think like a year into the game, I was like lowest of the low ranks on netplay still like on anther's ladder i was playing 
and I was like bronze three. I was getting destroyed by everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. What happened? What just happened? Did he take the game? We'll have to see. It's one one. Yep. Yeah. It looks like a uh, gear took All it. Right. I guess he was just not able to recover at that point. I think. I think they were just slightly ahead of us. Um, and someone probably quit out of it before the game yeah. finished for us. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Lots of lasers there. Right? That was 20% lasers. Super quick. So, Helix, you were a PM player first? Damn. I played... Uh, I played, like, Smash... Well, I played Melee before Smash 4 came out, and then I tried Smash 4 for a bit, and then I was like, ah, I liked Melee better. And I, I'll, no, I, I think I played more PM first, and then I started getting back to Melee. Uh, I was like, no, I've always been a Melee fan. I experimented with 64 have, for a little bit and PM for a little bit, but I never thought of them as a competitive like game. It was all just casual. I, I really like 64. I actually just started playing 64 a little bit more again recently. Nice. It's a lot of fun. I want to I want to try to I got to see I got to message the people see I want to try to like support the 64 scene. I don't know how many people there are in Tampa. I, there might be like one or two, but if there's like a Florida scene, I could try to help out and have them at some tournaments. I, I mean, would. is there online stuff for 64? There is. There's Netflix. Nice. Uh and it's it's pretty what's, good. What's the controller adapter looking like? <laughs> Same kind uh, of style? So it's like a you can get like a one or two port adapter. But I I have been using my GameCube controller because I don't have I did have an adapter. Dude, that was the Yoey counter. Broke. The fall off. Yeah, Yoey loves to fall off with the counter. But yeah, I had a What's it called? I had an adapter. It was like a GameCube and N64 adapter. Oh, that's cool. And like one I port would... for each or something? Or two ports yeah, for each? Yeah, and had like two wires coming off for each one. But then the N64 part broke. Like uh, a wire, like, ripped. Like, I guess I, like, had my chair on it or something. But, so I was like, oh, well, I'm just gonna use my regular GameCube adapter now. Yeah, Helix, you didn't just lose to this guy. You lost to this guy's DK. Unfortunate. FP is happening. I mean, it cures doing pretty good on FP. Yeah, he's FD got the right the... game plan. He just got marked for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, good FD luck getting on the like PR weird. losing a DK, buddy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think FD, like, neutral wise, is actually that much better for Marth than other stages, but it's just. No, it's, it's just fun. neutral. I mean, it's just punish game, I think. It's just so yeah. much easier for Mark. I remember they, they used to call. Uh, so I, I went to. In high school, we had melee. Just we had like, a there. melee yep. setup in our like senior cafeteria. Uh, I think like, I don't know what happened. I think a gym teacher brought us a CRT for some people. Like the, there, when I was a, when I was a sophomore. Oh my God, I there was the collateral. There was some seniors who would play and that was, um, that was actually uh, Naruto man, mediocre. You guys all know, but he would, they ended up hosting a melee tournament at our school. And I was like, oh, well, I play Smash. I played a little bit of Melee recently. I'll, uh, I'll hop in here. Nice. And, uh, and after that, I was like, oh, Melee's kind of cool. <laughs> and then uh, we just, like, go. We weren't supposed to go in there because we were, like, sophomores. We would just go and play Melee in the senior cafeteria because <laughs> they just didn't care. They were like, yeah, sure, we could play this. Nice, nice. So we just would play. We would have, like so many people so we'd have to play teams all the time just to incorporate mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. or do the free-for-alls too <laughs> there was uh yeah after after that year all the people who played were uh, a lot less competitive so i would like go in there and they'd be all playing free-for-alls on there and i'd be like oh well it's gonna yeah. suck i'm just gonna leave and hang out with my friends <laughs> Yeah, one of my uh, one of my good friends that I've known for a while is uh, he plays melee, but not in a competitive aspect, and he will not play like singles. Like it's always going to be two or three people, or at least three or four people. Otherwise, it's like too much for him. It's like yeah. God, I guess I gotta. And that's where like all my secondaries like got developed, and that's where I learned how to do two v ones. And it's like <laughs> it's like I want to play melee, fun. but <laughs> if you're not I gonna play singles, still I'll still fun, play. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah.
Dude, teams? I love teams. I, I think, like, playing so much teams in high school was, like, the majority of my introduction to Melee. We used to just play teams a lot because of the amount of people who played. So I think that's, like, why I feel like I'm pretty good at teams. Like, I just played it a lot when I was learning the game. So... I had, like, one friend who we would always... We would play, uh... What was it? We would play the red team and be, like, the... The red, like... Whatever it is, like the, the red, like the, the commu like you know, like communism is always like the red, whatever. Yeah. So we'd be like, we'd have our tags be in the game. It would be like USSR and like the People's <laughs> Republic of China. Like <laughs> <laughs> like that was what we were learning in history. I think at the time. That's great. So we were like, all right, we're being the red team. Just representing different countries. <laughs> the red dawn. We would play. He played Peach, so we played Peach Sheik, and that was. Dude, Peach is. <laughs> dude, that's a broken team in doubles. It sounds like. That's such oh my a good god. Team. Right next to like Peach Fox or something. Yeah, honestly, just like Peach, or Peach Sheik Puff. and Puff. They're like Fuck. the three. And Puff. I don't want to think it about it. Good doubles characters. Is this game five? This is game, oh, this four. Is game four. But it might go to. Five. Communism. Dude, I I made a while ago for like some random like uh, uh -oh. so oh, oh he no, missed it. no game oh maybe oh, game they both suck <laughs> budget Tampa UGS that's great <laughs> come on Akir bring out the game five. A bear? Oh, he gets the shine. Okay, don't get too greedy here. Okay, that'll do. Bad DI in the nair. Yep. All right. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. This is what we wanted. There was uh, a like Minecraft like Discord server for like some random like technical feature that like I was uh, that I like made because <laughs> I was like interested in the beginning and then I kind of just like drifted off of it. So I, I just kind of left the Discord, but it's still pretty active. But apparently there was no pinned messages in the Discord, so someone just made the pinned message like the wiki, uh, the wiki article for communism. And someone <laughs> the other day was like, "Why is this the pinned message?" And I was like, "I don't know, but that's kind of sick." It's like, let's go. <laughs> Got game five, another game five. Uh, another game fiver. What happened to DK? So he, so uh, Akir already plays DK versus Marth in tournament usually. So he's playing Fox since that's not what he would normally play. So that's uh, why he's playing Fox instead of DK. Oh no, the thing. Oh, he made it back though. Dude, Akira getting really good with the angles like super low like that to kind of mix up whether he's going to counter or grab ledge. Ooh, that tipper too. That's the last time Q lost a Fox. I don't know. It's probably... The... No, I don't think he's played the play. Secrets! Yeah. Probably secrets, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, because I remember Secrets won that tourney. Over EQ. Is... Oh my that gosh. Here trying to get some momentum back. Well, I thought we just have random people in our Discord, and like the Tampa Discord, who are uh, not from anywhere near here, but they still just like interact with us on a daily basis. <laughs> it's just like, because they just entered Dibble Dash once and they just hang out in the Discord. <laughs> it's like, all right. I think Secrets is like, once there's a once there's a big tournament here, he's gonna come down. Ooh, called out the double jump. Didn't Ooh, kill that though. Was, that was a really good up here. Surprised it didn't kill him. 96 on Pokemon. Or I guess he got him. Okay, what's Kier got here? He's got to keep this momentum. He's moving. He's moving pretty fast. Keeping him in the box Ooh. now, but. Okay, doesn't get hit by. Okay, double miss. Doesn't, doesn't get hit by it again. I thought you said game five, Akir goes for one tipper and misses it, and then but gets the next one. But I saw him miss two. Who is who is saying that? Helix or something? I don't know. I think it was Helix, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Akira's doing really well right now. He's keeping him. Nice there. So this is Akira's second DMT. 
he this entered season number or overall? this just second DMT overall. Oh, I guess the season is only. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's only this season. Because he lost to Keaton and Baraka. I think. Oh yeah, the one that Baraka entered. Baraka and PT. All right, here we go. Game five, last stock. Oh, it'd be, yeah, Pyro beat him. That's right. Pyro beat him. Pyro beat EQ. With Fox? Yeah, I think, right? Pardon? No, Q. No. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. No, he definitely did not beat. Who beat EQ recently that I can't remember? Oh, it was Loons. It was Loons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Loons beat EQ. Oh, and that's it! Akira. Oh, damn. Almost clutching it out. 